All right, so what we're going to go through is we're going to go through the six testing movements that you need to report back to me each month. Now, if you have an injury or an exception, there's a reason you can't do something, that is fine. When you send it through to me, make sure that you send it through via email. Do not Facebook message me, send it through via email. So the movements that we've got, you've got your 5RM back squat, your 5RM deadlift, 5RM bench, or you can do max rep push-ups for those, max reps, strict pull-ups, and a broad jump. One optional movement, which I'm not gonna go through today, if you wanna send it through to me, is a 3RM hang power clean. We've done a couple of other videos talking about that, but that is 100% optional because it's so dependent on you doing it properly. Righto, let's run through how I would like to see you do the movements. Just bear in mind, this is all based off you having the requisite mobility to do it. If you're unsure whether you're doing it properly, take a video and post it up in the Facebook group. All right, so back squats, 5RM back squats. What we're looking for is from the starting position. If you can keep your toes forward, great. But from the top, we're looking at a nice controlled descent, crease of the hip below the top of the knee, and then firing up from there. So you're doing five, controlled, up, controlled, up. So we're trying to do sets of five, so three, four, five, and then you walk it on in to the rack. When you do your five RM back squat, what I'd ideally want to see, even though we are reporting back for the weight, I still want you to have the intention of moving the bar fast. Speed kills in this sport, so make sure you are moving the bar quickly. If it is a slow grinding rep, we're not gonna count that. We wanna make sure that we're moving the bar quick enough that it's going to translate when we get onto the field. So that's your back squat. Crease of the hip below the top of the knee and standing up at the top, that's the standard. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some deadlifts. Now in the post, I put that I want them to be a dead stop deadlift. What that means is from that starting position, we're going to stand up, and then when I go back down, I'm going to pause for a second, let the weight rest, and then stand up from there. Back down, rest, stand up. Okay, if you need to, one thing you can do is you can do a rep if you don't have a lot of self-control. Stand up, go back down, release the bar, stand up, and then go back down and take your next rep. Okay, when you do that, what you wanna make sure you do is you're not gonna stand up and rest for very long. Why we wanna do each rep independent is it's going to give us a good gauge of how well you can pull the bar off the ground for each individual rep. What I don't wanna see is bouncing off the ground, which would look a little bit like Okay, we're trying to be athletes, we're not trying to be CrossFit competitors, so we're gonna do dead stop deadlifts. I will, if you guys can, or you are using a trap bar, I'm okay with you doing a trap bar deadlift as well. Just when you send me through your results, let me know that it's a trap bar. Another acceptable, other acceptable movements for this would be rack pulls or deadlifts from blocks, so clean blocks or something like that. So it's 5RM for that. That's deadlifts. Next thing we're on to is bench. Bench press standard. Pretty well what we're looking for is from here, unracking, letting that bar touch my chest, and then pressing out, okay? Bar touch my chest, pressing out, okay? From a standard point of view, we're trying to get that full range of motion. If you, again, if you have in shoulder injuries, anything like that, or you have trouble with the deadlift, we can do, I'm happy for dumbbell bench press, but I still want that full range of motion as you do it. The other thing you can do if you struggle with bench press would be a push up. So same standards that we used in selection camp, just to recap, nice flat back, no staking, chest to touch the ground, 
and then full lockout at the top, that would count as one. You can do max rep push-ups. If you send those through, it does give us a little bit of comparison compared to what we did at camp. So that's the three barbell movements. Okay, from there you've got three body weight movements that I want you to send through. So with these movements, they're max rep or max effort or max distance. So when we say max rep, it's basically for a pull-up, what we're looking for, full lockout at the bottom, through two, chin over the bar, back down to full lockout, that counts as one. Max effort is how many you can do without coming off the bar. Okay, so if that's only one, that's one. If that's 15, it's 15. But you need to move through that full range of motion. Chin over the bar, all the way down the bottom. It is a pull up, which is an overhand grip. It is not a chin up. This is a chin up, this is a pull up. I want your max rep pull ups, I don't want your max rep chin ups. All right, so that's the pull ups. Broad jump, I think everybody should be familiar with broad jump, but just to recap, from a standing start, two foot takeoff, two foot landing, and we're trying to jump as far as we can forward. Okay? The mark will be from where your toes start to where your heel lands. Okay? So you will measure from where your toes leave the ground to wherever, if I land here, that's the mark I'm measuring to, where your heel lands. All right, the last one is just a core strength tip. So with your core strength, we're just gonna test the plank. So all we're doing, elbows on the ground, put your hands together, stack those shoulders over your elbows. And then from here, what I'm looking for is a straight line that runs from my heels up to my shoulders. I don't wanna be up in the air, I don't wanna be down. As soon as you get into that position, consider the position broken. Okay, so your max, when you're timing it, it's the amount of time you can hold it for. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some of you that can hold it for quite a while. If you go over four minutes, you can stop. Just tell me you've gone four minutes plus, okay? If you can't get that, tell me the time that it takes you before you break that position, all right? So there, the six testing movements. I haven't gone through hang power cleans, but if you are doing them and you would like me to put those into the spreadsheet, please send them through. Again, the reason I haven't done it is because it's so important for those to be taught properly and not all of you are going to have access to an Olympic weightlifting coach. Get those through to me. They are due first time around before this Friday and then every other month before the first of the month. All right, thank you.